here with another Michael's Guitar Reviews. Now then, today we have something very, very special. And I have to say right at the outset, this guitar is not for sale. It's owned by Mick and it has been owned by him since about 1968 or 69. It is a July 63 Fender Stratocaster. It's been played quite a lot over the years, up until the 1990s, when it was put in its case and put in a loft and left there for over 30 years. Until a conversation with Mick, who I've known since we played in a couple of bands together in the 60s and early 70s, until a conversation with him revealed that he still has the guitar. Imagine my surprise. So we have it here today so that we can share it with you. July 1963, original Fender Stratocaster. Not for sale. And it shows its age, but it's still very playable and a very interesting and pleasant guitar to handle. The headstock, as you can possibly see, has the original decals or decals or decals or call them what you like and the original tuners, in fact, pretty much everything about this guitar is as it was in 1963. The back of the tuners are enclosed and they have little holes where you can pop a bit of oil in if you need to. The neck, as you can see, is probably maple and it's figured very, very nicely and obviously worn over the years. That's the original neck the original fingerboard, the original frets, everything original. The dot inlays have also aged, so they're quite dark now, but uh, still very easy to see. The fret edges are very smooth. There's no uh, sharp edges there at all. The nut is, it needs replacing. It's cut too deep uh, and it probably, probably could deal with a new one. But apart from that, everything else is original. If we look at the, the neck joint on the body, we've got the back plate with the original uh, number on it, original screws. The cavity at the back for the springs is exposed at the moment, but there have been extra springs put on by the look of it. This, uh, five springs on there and very often they, as you probably know, they usually just have three. But you can see those nice and clearly. This guitar was originally a uh, blue, possibly late placid blue, but when Mick got it in the late 1960s, the paintwork had been stripped away and it had been varnished. Since then it's had a few home-grown paint refinishes. Uh, and as you can see currently it's in a sort of post box red colour, which actually is quite nice. I'm not sure whether the screws around the scratch plate are original or not. Mick thinks they are, but be interested in your comments as well. The pickups are completely original. The three-way selector switch is completely original. Everything else, the pots, the potentiometers, they're all original. The knobs are original. In fact, everything's original. Even those bridge uh, saddles, which uh, you can see on the, on the camera there, they're all original. The strings are not original. So, 1963 Fender Stratocaster, three-way switch, three pickups, all original been resting in a box for over 30 years after a life on the road and here it is. So what does it feel like? Feels very nice. The action's beautiful on it, lovely and low. The body very well balanced, it feels absolutely great on the on the thigh. The controls are showing their age so they're not as smooth and effortless as a more modern version would be and they're a bit scratchy 
and they don't always work as you'd like them to, but then the guitar is very old, so what do you expect? So what does it sound like? Let's have a listen. First of all, we'll take the pickup selector switch to the neck pickup, and that is controlled by the middle rotary controller, which um, may or may not work depending on how it feels at the moment. But we'll start with it set on the treble side, which is fully clockwise, and then we'll move it to anti-clockwise and then progress to the next pickup. So this is the neck pickup with the selector switch to the treble position or fully clockwise. <laughs> Let's turn the selector switch now round all the way to the bassier side or anti-clockwise, staying on the neck pickup. Okay, middle position for the middle pickup with the tone control set to the fully clockwise position for a treble sound. And now setting the tone control round anti-clockwise for a more bassy sound. to the treble side, fully clockwise. The nut just moved a little bit there. And now down to the Third position for the bridge pickup. This one is unaffected by the tone controls, so it's totally independent. You get what you get, and that's it. So, a nice
1963, July, Fender Stratocaster, two owners from new, the most recent one being the one that bought it in 1968 or thereabouts. Originally light blue, possibly lake placid blue, later stained, stripped and stained, and now in a, a fa fairly sort of homemade but nonetheless quite attractive red. You don't get many of these, do you? And I feel very happy to be able to show it to you today. I'd be delighted for your comments, particularly anything related to this era of guitar. And in the meantime, thank you for watching Michael's Guitar Reviews. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Your constructive comments are always very welcome. In the meantime, happy guitar playing and thanks for watching. Bye for now.